today we're going to talk about motivation. That's right. And I got a quote up there and I want you guys to look at it and look at it hard. All right. And it says for things to change for you, you have to change. Yes. Very important concept. When I first stumbled on this, it blew my mind. Right. So simple, but very necessary to understand. So we're going to go through a little exercise here. And I know it's getting a little rough studying now. So I want to help you guys get over that hump and kind of revive you a little bit and make you understand why you're doing this and what kind of feeling you're going through and try to describe that for you. So let's say you're 30 years old, right? We're going to do a little exercise. And five years from now, you have hit every single goal that you have set for yourself, right? In every area of your life, health and fitness, career, personal finances, religion, spirituality, personal contribution, right? Any area you can think of and you have now hit that goal, right? Now tell me, how does that feel? That feels good, right? Envision that. That feels good. But here's the question. What would you have to do to hit that goal? You would have to change. Yes, change. Why? Because if you keep on doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep on getting what you've been getting, right? Very important concept there, okay? You have to change to get more, to achieve more. Actually, your thinking right now can't produce any better results in your life than it has right now, okay? And if you think everything that you have got in your life, promotion, getting on the job, graduating from school, you had to change in the process to achieve that and maintain it, right? The reality of it is the same old you in a new relationship, right, won't work for long. The same old you in a new house and mortgage probably won't work for long, right? You had to change. Things had to change. Your career had to change. Finances, you had to be more responsible, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on and on and on, but you had to change, right? Very important concept. So when we look within and we understand that that's where it starts with us, and then other things will change, right? And now we can do that exercise the other way. And let's say five years from now, you're 30. Again, now, so you're 35, and you're in the exact same place that you are right now. Okay, we're approaching uh, midnight, New Year's Day, right? And that resolution list looks exactly the same as it did the past five years. Nothing has changed, right? You weigh the same amount. You're still looking for a break. You're making the same amount of money. You're struggling with the same issues, right? No progress whatsoever. And, and how possible is that to happen? It's very possible, right? Very possible, okay? And here's the question. What do you have to do to live that dream? And here's the crazy ironic part of this whole thing is that you don't have to do anything, nothing. If you do nothing and stay the same, you will achieve that. And that's not really a dream. That's a nightmare, right? That's none of our goals to really to remain the same and the last five years look like the next five, right? Every year should get better, right? That should be our goal, right? But that's a very important concept. So I really wanted to touch on that and kind of explain everything that you're going through, the pain, the discomfort, you know, possible disappointment, and just get you back into it and, re and refocus on what's important here okay and that's the main goal is to pass this promotional exam right more financial freedom probably time freedom more time with our families quality of life whatever it is for you you have to get in touch with it understand that changing in the process is necessary for you to achieve that goal right the same old you right to go take this new challenge is not going to work right that's the way it works we have to basically raise our commitment and discipline to reach you know, to be connected with the achievement that we want to, we want to um, gain in this whole process. So, you know, that's the thing you're going through change and I know it's uncomfortable, but you have to stick it through. Okay. Look forward to the dip. Cause once you come out of the dip, you're going to be that much better. And just so you know, to build habits in this whole process, it takes 66 days to do that. Right. So just count it all off on your calendar if you have to, right. But through 66 days of doing this and studying and repetition and time blocking and, and putting the putting everything out and clearing your table and studying and putting the actual time in, it will start to get easier, I promise. And the, the only reason why you're feeling discomfort is because you're going through change. But that's a good thing because once you change, everything else will change for you and you will hit that goal. Okay, guys, uh, we want you to win. So stay involved. 
uh, stay focused on the goal and we'll be here to basically get you through the process okay guys so i'll catch you in the next lesson